Okay, you guys, what is up? Uh, today is going to be a wine type of day. Uh, <laughs> today, I'm going to do a tutorial that is honestly kind of inspired, not, not really necessarily inspired, but dedicated to a family member of mine who just passed away the other day. Um, she was very bright, had a very bright, happy, fun-loving, different personality, but in the best way possible. So this is inspired by her and it has one of her favorite colors in it, which was yellow. On a side note, I am a real person and I am not gonna have perfect hair. I'm not gonna wear a bougie shirt. I'm gonna have clothes in the background and a bobby pillow because I am a mother. Um, and I also want to recommend to you guys this iHome. It's the new version of the one that I've had since sixth grade, which is like over 10 years. <laughs> it's a little old. Yeah, it's the kind that you put the iPod on the top of it, like the actual dock. <laughs> Remember those? But this is the older, better big sister that still changes colors, which is my favorite feature of the one that I still have that is still going strong. Um, but this one is Bluetooth, water resistant. You can talk to it. Its name is Melody, so it's kind of like the Alexa thing, but um, without the weather and everything else. But you can tell it like, Melody, play Spotify. I don't want to talk too loud to it, so it doesn't <laughs> do it. Um, but anyway, so far I'm loving it and it's $50. You need to go get it if you are a music lover like me. And I, just look at all the colors. I mean, I guess you can sit it on one color too if you want, but I like the, the mood changing ambiance that it provides. Um, and it sounds darn good too. Like when you turn this puppy up, it's got some bass and I don't even know how, like I don't know how they fit it. I mean, it's like the size of a burger. Well, maybe not really, but it could be. Somewhere there is a burger this big, or if not bigger. And now I want a burger. Oh, crap. Okay, but on another note, oh, another thing. <laughs> I have recently taken up tanning. I've been baking myself purposely. Don't know why. Grandfather passed away of skin cancer. Uh, not the person who recently passed away, obviously, because he is a he, not a she. <laughs> um, but this stuff, Cherish, oh, it smells so good. If you like the Victoria's Secret Coconut Passion, oh my god, you will love Skin Designer Cherish. Yes. It smells like cookies and summertime and beautifulness, and it's amazing. All right, time to get down to it. And yes, my husband and I went to Harris Cherokee this weekend, and this is a chip from our blackjack table we didn't do so well but we stayed but we stayed under our budget so that's all that matters getting into this business eh? I'm gonna start with this L'Oreal Magic Lumi gonna rub it all over my face because we are all about that glow right now since it is summertime glow just kidding it makes me look sweaty but it looks really good under makeup not quite so sweaty <laughs> Chanel. My beauty blender, my Real Technique sponge is not as damp as I would like, but you know what? That's okay. Some people like a dry sponge, some people like a wet sponge, some people like a mildly damp sponge. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just use some concealer and not the NARS foundation. Because my face is not quite as tan as it has been the last few days. Flat Kabuki from Eco Tools. Just gonna pat slash kind of rub that on. Okay, and I'm not gonna highlight my forehead or anything today. Set all this stuff in my glug with the Cody Airspun. That's C O T Y, not C O D Y. You know how certain smells have very strong memories attached to them? Well, my main memory from preschool is the smell of that one teacher lady. And it is the Cody Airspun powder. Like now that I have found the scent, every time I put makeup on, I'm like, mm, 
preschool cookies. Yum. Times were simple, yo. My Makeup Geek Shadows. And a bright cobalt blue eyeliner, yo. And my black eyeliner because we're going to put on some bold lashes with this. Specifically, the Vegas Nay. Uh, Vegas Nay something or other. I don't remember what they're called, but they are my favorite lashes in the entire world. <sighs> Who else grabs things with their toes when they drop them? Okay, so I'm going to go in with Makeup Geek Chickadee all over the lid. This is really just like a yellowy, orangey, mustardy color. I'm going to take that kind of high up on the brow bone through the crease and blend that out really smoky. Basically, we want it to look like an old black eye. And that's what I'm saying, y'all. There will never be anything perfect on my channel. You have to blend this into the crease, but don't do it wrong because then you'll look stupid. None of that. Because I can name a few, especially this one girl on YouTube that she makes me so mad I don't even care to know her name. <laughs> Shout out to you, homegirl. Oh yeah, this definitely looks like we got punched in the eyes or in the nose about two weeks ago. Either that or we just had plastic surgery. Yeah, we'll go with that. We'll go with plastic surgery instead of punched in the eye. All right, so now I'm going to use the color Analog from the Kat Von D Media De Loca palette. I'm going to get quite a lot of that, obviously. <laughs> That's a lot. That on the lid and blend into the crease. Okay, now I need some more Chickadee from Makeup Geek on the outskirts of this. Okay, now I'm going to take some Fran from the Kat Von D palette on this flat little shader eye brush. I'm going to go over that Chickadee on the outside. Now I'm going to wipe this off on my seat. <laughs> I don't clean my brushes every week. I don't clean them every day. I might if I'm feeling happy, <laughs> wipe them off on a baby wipe. On my lower lash line, on a little teensy tiny shader brush, I'm going to take the analog from Kat Von D and put that on my lower lash line all the way across. Now that Fran color, uh, I feel like I'm going to take that flat shader brush again and just use the end of it. I'm going to take my NYX Milk Stick and kind of clean up my inner corner a little bit. It's mainly all I use this milk stick for is when I want a big emphasis on the inner corner, which needs a sharpener, and I don't have a sharpener. <laughs> um, so right on the tear duct and kind of just barely like onto the lid. Blend that out with our thinner. I think I am going to add a teensy bit of purple. And I'm going to use this orange, not this orange brush, this brush that I use for the orange. And I'm going to wipe that off on my seat again. And I'm going to use some Rewind from the Kat Von D palette. Just a tiny bit, just a little, little bit. And I'm going to use that in the furthest outermost portion. Just to 
darken our outer eye a little bit. Give it a bit more depth. It was lacking some depth. There we go. And on this flat brush again, I'm just going to go around everything and blend. So on my finger, I'm going to take some skulls from the Kat Von D palette and go over that milk stick in the front. that our oh what am I doing <laughs> eyeliner duh bright blue eyeliner man here it comes we're gonna do a wing with this bad boy I uh, it took a quite a while to do my blue eye wing look um, I also went ahead and did my eyebrows and my eyelashes because those are both very time-consuming and not quite interesting in the slightest um, but don't worry ye watchers of ye few um, I I have a brow tutorial coming soon. Well, it's not really a tutorial, it's how I do my eyebrows. So if your eyebrows are like mine, you'll enjoy it. But I also do give a few tips and tricks on how to do them if they're not like mine. Okay, now that my eyes are done, we're gonna move on to blush, bronzer, and highlighter. And we are going to be using Too Faced tea, Sweet Tea Bronzer on this big giant brush but before that whoops we are going to be using the kevin aquan mini contour duo thing on this little tapered brush to contour so i'm going to find the top of my ear and go down to about the outer corner of not the outer corner the outer portion of the iris the outer corner of my colored eye part thing i think that's an iris now i'm also going to take that onto my temples and then i'm going to pinch the brush with my thumb and my pointer finger just on the end and i'm going to put a bit of a contour on my nose and I just blend with the excess on it. Okay, and I'm going to swirl both colors in and go right above that contour on the bottom of my cheekbone. And up onto my temples and my hairline. All right, now I'm going to take ColourPop Flexitarian and ColourPop Monster on a Real Technique sponge that is sprayed with MAC Fix Plus. First I'm going to take Monster. Okay, that dried up real quick so I'm going to spray it again. And go with Flexitarian. And now I'm going to take just Flexitarian up here above the brow, like on the forehead, like right above my arch of my eyebrow. Little angled brush thing and blend all this out so it's not so harsh. Alrighty, now that I'm sufficiently highlighted. <laughs> yes. Go, chug, chug, chug. Vino from Milani. And now I'm a clown. I 
that's okay. Oh, it took my highlight away. Mama likes a highlighted look, what can I say? All right, now for the hard part, choosing a lippy to go with this little looky looky here. Oh, my candy jar. Borrowed this idea from Jacqueline Hill because this is what she does with her OCC lip tars. I think we're gonna go with this little sample from ColourPop. It needs a little something. It needs a little something. And I think that little something is some glitter on my upper lip. All right, you guys, this is the finished look. And I'm kind of feeling the glitter on my Cupid's bow. Yeah, I really like it. Like, I like it a lot. So on a serious note, you guys, if any of you or people you know are going through a hard time, know that it gets better. It will get better. It might not be tomorrow, it might not be next week, but it will get better, I promise. And there is a hotline you can call. I mean, it's like, hmm, 1-800-HOTLINE. No, just kidding. It, they're there to help. It's there for a reason. And I'm going to put that below and I want you to share it, share it, share it. Not because I want you to share this video, because I want you to share the information. You're not alone. Don't feel like you're alone, okay? All silliness aside, you are loved, whether you feel like it or not, and you are doing good, whether you feel like it or not. You're breathing, you have the gift to wake up the next day, you have the gift of laughter, and people will miss you. I'm, I don't know any of you, more than likely. If I do know you, I love you, whether you're a close friend of mine, whether we're acquaintances on Facebook, I thank you for waking up and living life. It's, it's not easy, it's really not, I understand. I really do, and yeah. All right, thank you guys. I hate to end this on a, ha on a sad note, but it needed to be said and it's on my heart right now. And thank you for watching. I will see you next time.